And having been born in India, a proud British citizen, and having spent time as Secretary of State for International Development, I am committed that this COP will deliver for the communities most vulnerable to climate change. So we need to work together to enable and encourage countries affected by climate change to build flood defences and climate resilient infrastructure, to introduce early warning systems and plant crops resistant to climate extremes. And to facilitate this, we've launched the Adaptation Action Coalition where countries can share and scale solutions. And we are asking every country to arrive in Glasgow having set out their adaptation priorities. I have faith that world leaders will rise to the occasion and not be found wanting in their tryst with destiny. That in six months' time, when we are packing up and going home, we will be able to say that at this critical juncture, each of us took responsibility, that we chose to act and that we kept 1.5 degrees alive. In preparing for this speech, I asked my daughters what message I should give to world leaders about their priorities. And their response was simple. Please, tell them to pick the planet. And that's the message I want to leave with you today. A message from my daughters, a message from future generations. This is our moment. There are no second chances, so please, let's pick the planet.